Hello everyone. I'm behind. I could have sworn I had videos ready, but then Overwatch came out a day earlier than I expected, and then five hours later it was Battleborn. Then I disappeared. I had ideas on creating Battleborn content ever since I enjoyed the technical alpha. Then, once the beta came around, I was all set and ready. Super pumped. But not all the characters were available, even when you unlock them. And it did not help the beta. A lot of people saw the game as unbalanced because they didn't have all the characters to choose from. All tanks were OP, there weren't enough ranged classes, clearing minions took a lot more teamwork, and most people didn't have decent gear for their characters. I knew I didn't have a proper assessment, so I decided to wait until after launch. Now we're here. I'm about 40 hours in. I have all characters unlocked except Khalees and Galt. I could get Khalees, but he doesn't seem like that much fun, and when I unlock Galt, I unlock Khalees anyways. Except, none of my friends joined me in Battleborn, and you can't pub advanced story mode. Also, some of the maps are just ridiculous. But, we're getting off topic. I'm close to ready to put up some content out for Battleborn as I'm finishing out the challenges and gearing up. So the channel will be split up a bit on content. As a MOBA, I will focus on Battleborn's map design and general objective focus. Then I will get more specific with team composition and maybe character videos. I will hold off as long as possible on story, but some of it is really fucking cool. First thing I want to show is how different Battleborn is from Overwatch. I know from the trailers and footage most of you have seen, it looks like a shooter way to kill other people and win the game. Which is weird, because it also has a leveling system, minions, jungle creeps, and currency to buy gear for your character. If anything, you should have seen the UI and gone, wow, this is definitely a gearbox game. It's huge! That aside, the battle between these games this past weekend for my time has been no contest. Overwatch is so heavily based on tight teamwork, opening week is just horrible. Besides the fact the game crashed every other match, I just got tired of entering matches that were clearly unwinnable. Or even worse, getting dropped into already lost games. I think it was Wednesday, I logged in and got thrown into 5 straight matches that had less than 30 seconds on the clock for a loss. I haven't played since. But I have friends that get together and play, so I have my moments where I can enjoy Overwatch while I wait for the public to get a handle on the game so I can start to trust them again. So I put about 95% of my time since launch into Battleborn. I mean, sleep was not had. I stuck mostly to Meltdown because it's the traditional MOBA mode that I enjoy. Now that everyone can play most characters, it's much more balanced. There are still two tanks that are just so goddamn strong, it's hard to deal with and movement gear is necessary on most characters. But assassins are not complete monsters anymore, comebacks are always possible, and one person can make a difference. That is the main difference between Battleborn and Overwatch. Since you can't change your characters during the match, you have to change your playstyle. You have to figure out how to either fight the problem or get around it to win the objectives. That can be so many things, like farming currency for your team, taking down enemy defenses, or just keep clearing minions all while staying out of the enemy's way. I like being the hero. I like showing off my skills. In Overwatch, you can't really do that. Team composition is key, and waiting for the opportune moment is what will win you the game. Which could be once every five minutes depending on how noob your team is. In Battleborn, the opportune moments happen every 10 seconds. It's much faster paced, there's always five ways to look at a situation, and craziness will always ensue. Maybe a bit too much of a light show kind of craziness, but hopefully there will be a setting update like you see in Marvel Heroes. But I don't know, besides the smoke effects, it's really important to know which and how many pools of death you're standing in to dictate your next action. It's just a lot of epic fun, and I'm still having fun with every unique match that you get from a MOBA game. And if you really need to rage quit, there's always story mode where you can level up your characters much faster and always get some loot to make your character stronger the next time you enter PvP. So that's been my weekend. I'm going to work on unlocking everything hopefully soon and maybe start working on some intro videos that people will enjoy and maybe convert some of you overwatchers to enjoy playing both. They are both great games and I'm not going to stop content at all for Overwatch of course. I'll try to keep it at the same pace, but since legendaries are near impossible to get now, and there's a 60% chance I'll get one I've done a video on already, we will probably finish our hero guides a lot sooner. Then I'll work on videos on changing characters mid-game. Other than that, I'll start introducing Battleborn videos and see if that picks up at all. I'm loving the game too much not to try.
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.